doesn't agree that the IPCC are telling us we need to act urgently on climate change. Mark Jenkinson calls climate activists alarmists and has called members of his own constituency who speak up about climate lunatics. Mark Jenkinson blocks anyone who disagrees with him on social media. So he lives in a bubble of people who agree with him. He seems to style himself on Nigel Farage, where the more offensive and the more controversial he is, the more votes he will get. Unfortunately, the next constituency to Mark Jenkinson, so Mark Jenkinson is Workington, the next constituency is where they are planning to build the new West Cumbria coal mine. Mark Jenkinson claims that this will bring local jobs to the area, but 83% of those jobs will be underground. Do we really want to be sending our sons and daughters down a coal mine? Mark Jenkinson claims that the coal will be used in the UK to support our steel industry, but actually 89% of the coal will be exported, and that, that amount will go up as the steel industry uh, decarbonises and finds ways of making steel without using coal. Mark Jenkinson claims that the coal mine will be good for the environment. Coal, good for the environment. Mark Jenkinson is very active on social media and in the mainstream media, and he spreads his lies and disinformation about the coal mine through those routes. He claims he doesn't want his constituents to be worse off because of people claiming that climate change is an imminent threat. So maybe we could call him a delayer rather than a denialist, but as someone else said, potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> and delaying action on climate change is a death sentence according to the IPCC. So a little bit of local uh, political useful information. In 2024, when we have the next general election, there will be five constituencies in Cumbria rather than six. So this is a, means a little bit of MP musical chairs. Mark Jenkinson has stood in kind of the neighbouring constituency against a much more moderate Conservative MP, and he won that selection. So uh, what we're trying to do in Mark Jenkins is make sure that all his constituents, his kind of old existing constituents and the new constituents in the new in the new constituency of Penrith and Solway know his views because in Cumbria uh, in his con in the constituency there are a lot of threats from climate change we have coastal areas which are low-lying and will be flooded and there are houses that will be flooded imminently um, under a changed climate there are cities in Cumbria, or towns in Cumbria, like Cockermouth, that suffered extensively from flooding in Storm Desmond. Lake District National Park is part of the constituency, and the biodiversity in the Lake District National Park, one of our best national parks, is threatened. So what, what we try and do at Mark Jenkinson Watch is we follow what he's doing on Facebook and Twitter. He posts a lot. We follow what he's doing. We try and share that with the... Uh, on our social media so people can see what he's saying and we counter the disinformation that he's sharing. When um, he got nominated for, um, to be the new ca uh, Conservative candidate for Penrith and Solway, we made this banner. It's, it's not the most beautiful banner. I made it in like an hour in an evening. We made... <laughs>